Hello everyone, welcome to Example of Physics where we study concepts by solving questions. The topic which I have taken today is from the chapter Magnetic Effects of Electric Current and the question I have taken from the NCRT Exemplar Class 10. The question is on the concept of magnetic field lines. So let's read the question first. Choose the incorrect statement from the following regarding magnetic lines of force. Option A. The direction of magnetic field at a point is taken to be the direction in which the north pole of a magnetic compass needle points. Option B. Magnetic field lines are closed curves. Option C. If magnetic field lines are parallel and equidistant, they represent zero field strength. Option D. Relative strength of magnetic field is shown by degree of closeness of the field. Now the concept which we are going to deal here is magnetic field lines, right? So what are these magnetic field lines? For that we need to understand what is magnetic field. So instead of writing magnetic field, I just write field. It means magnetic field and instead of writing magnetic field lines, I will write field lines. It implies magnetic field lines. So what is this magnetic field? So any substance or material which creates magnetic force, right? So magnetic force will lead what? Either attraction or repulsion. That's what force does. So the, the space around the magnetic material which shows magnetism where its force can be experienced is called as magnetic field. And this magnetic field is not visible to our eyes. So in order to understand it better, we use magnetic field lines to represent it. Now when, I, when we are saying lines, doesn't mean always straight lines, sometimes straight lines, sometimes curved lines. So these field lines represent magnetic field. Now magnetic field is a vector quantity. So you know that vector quantity has both magnitude and direction. So the field lines have the responsibility to represent both magnitude and direction. So it will not perfectly will give you, it may not perfectly give you the magnitude, but it will give a slight indication whether the field is strong, weak, or it is uniform, or whether the field is there or not that can be represented by field lines and it perfectly gives the direction of magnetic field. Now the first option that is on deciding how to get the magnetic field lines. And the first option deals with how to draw magnetic field lines and how to take the direction at a given point. So first of all, how to draw the magnetic field lines for that we will use magnetic compass. So you see a picture of a compass there. So you must have seen in, your, in lab or on a traveling bag or your pencil box somewhere. Somewhere you must have seen it. And there's a peculiar thing about the compass. It always shows north. The pointer in the compass always shows north. Now what is this compass? The compass is a small bar magnet which is either suspended or pivoted and free to rotate. So it always aligns in one direction. What is that? That is north-south direction. So a magnet always aligns in north-south direction and the pointer is towards always towards the north and if you have the arrow like this, the tail is at the south. Now how does a compass work? The compass just interacts with the magnetic field of the earth where the earth almost acts like a weak bar magnet and if you want to know how in detail how the magnetic field works for that I have made a I have made an interesting video and the link to that video is given in the description as well as linked to the i button. So after watching this video just go through it. You must have studied this in your lower classes that like poles, like poles imply same poles that is either north-north or south-south, north-north or south-south. What they do? They repel each other. 
and unlike poles that is the different poles so different poles implies we have only two poles different poles or unlike poles that is north and south they attract each other they attract each other now how to draw magnetic field lines let me clear everything and makes little bit space for you look at the picture on the screen here what do you have you have a bar magnet one side the red color indicates north pole and the other side indicates the south pole now if you see the blue lines those blue lines are magnetic field lines and magnetic field lines are imaginary lines they are not really present they are just used for representation as i have already said so how to draw them for that what are we using we are using a magnetic compass so how to draw magnetic field lines suppose if i keep a compass here what happens the north pole that is the pointer of the compass will be repelled by this north pole and the south pole which is the other side of the pointer gets attracted to the south pole so this is the direction which the compass points if i place it in this location now just mark the pointer there and in, the, in this new location what do you do is you just place the compass again at this pointer you place the compass again what happens now the force since the distance has changed and the orientation has changed the compass now shows new direction why it is showing new direction it interaction at the new point is different now so it shows new direction so what will you do you just note the point over here and draw at the new point of the arrow what shall we do is we will place the compass again now the arrow will be in different orientation now let's continue doing this mark the pointer and at the pointer put the compass and again see the see the pointer and at the pointer keep the tail of the compass now see the new orientation of the pointer repeat this process until you reach the other end that is the south pole now after removing this location after removing the compasses what do you have you will have the points over there so with using your pencil just join all the points which you have got so what happens is you are going to get the magnetic field line so this can be repeated many times at every new location you'll get a new magnetic field line now what is the direction of magnetic field line so for that what do are we doing is we are taking the direction of direction of orientation of north pole of the magnetic compass needle so this is a convention this is how we draw magnetic field lines okay so if, suppose if you already have a magnetic field line for example this is your magnetic field line okay this is your magnetic field line already drawn and you want magnetic field at a particular location so for that what will you do suppose the point is this at this point you need magnetic field line so what you are going to do is you are going to draw a tangent over there the direction of tangent is the direction of magnetic field at that point suppose the point is here so here we will draw magnet a tangent and the direction of tangent is tangent direction of magnetic field and so on you so you have learned how to draw magnetic field line number 2 if magnetic field line is already given in the equation how to get the direction at a given point right suppose if i want i have a compass with me and i want magnetic field here what will i do just place the compass over there whatever the direction indicated by the north is the direction of magnetic field correct so we have learned both things you how to draw magnetic field lines 
and if the magnetic field lines are given in the equation because compass will not be available in the examination so how to get the direction you will draw tangents at that point so it's i hope it's clear so let's clear everything in case if you are noting something you can always pause the video and note it down so option number one is absolutely right now let's go to option number two the magnetic field lines are closed curves is it true or false unlike electric field lines which originates at positive charge and terminates at negative charge okay you must have seen this picture about electric field lines if not no problem that's not the important now so electric field lines always originate from positive charge so originate from positive charge and terminate in the negative charge that's it originates terminates originated positive charge and terminates at negative charge but that is not the case in magnetic field lines how do we know for this you can understand the concept of solenoid so what is a solenoid a solenoid is a electromagnet and when the current passes through it it almost acts like a bar magnet so here one end it acts like north pole the other end it acts like south pole if i place a core inside it the core gets magnetized the core gets magnetized that is it behaves like a magnet bar magnet and how is that happening if the field inside the solenoid is zero then the core will not get magnetized so it is non zero because the core is getting magnetized the field is non zero and hence the field lines do not end at south pole they continue their journey from south towards the north so what is the direction of magnetic field lines the direction of magnetic field lines are north to south outside north to south pole outside the magnet and south to north inside the magnet this makes the magnetic field lines as closed curves i hope it's very clear so option a is correct option b is correct <coughs> now let's talk about option c if the magnetic field lines are parallel and equidistant they represent zero field strength so from the figure can you tell me the location where the magnetic field lines are parallel and equidistant now where are they inside solenoid right inside the solenoid how are the field lines the field lines are parallel and equidistant if inside the solenoid is the magnetic field zero no because the core is getting magnetized that implies what magnetic field is present over there so the magnetic field is not zero hence if the magnetic field lines are parallel and equidistant they do not represent zero field strength so this option is wrong and hence this is going to be our answer so what does the parallel and equidistant magnetic field lines represent they represent uniform field strength uniform field strength means the field strength is same everywhere so let me draw and show you some parallel lines suppose if these are the parallel the magnetic field lines which are equidistant and parallel that means in this region uh let me enclose the region with this red color so this is a region i have taken so is the magnetic field zero there no but the magnetic field is constant or we can say uniform so what does the magnetic field lines which are parallel and equidistant represent they represents uniform or constant magnetic field okay now this uh, as already discussed that field lines represents both what 
direction as well as magnitude so we did not discuss about the magnitude part so that i am going to discuss while for the fourth option that is relative strength of magnetic field is shown by the degree of closeness of the field so for this what i am going to do is i am going to show you a new picture this you must have seen in your textbook right magnetic field line starting from north pole and coming to south pole so what i am going to do is uh, here i am going to mark few areas okay so let us say this is area 1 and let's say this is area 2 and let me take the third area over here near the south pole okay area 3 so 1 2 and 3 all the three areas are same can you tell me where the field strength is maximum and minimum just guess so let's see so how do i know how can i tell the whether the field strength where the field strength is strong and weak okay so by looking at this figure these field, look at the field lines passing through the area if more of the field lines are passing through the area and they are closer to each other then that represents strong magnetic field and if less number of field lines are passing through a given area and they are far away from each other then that represents weaker field so from here from the figure we can say 3 which is nearer to the south pole has more field lines and close field lines passing through it hence it is stronger then 2 is stronger and the last minimum number of field lines are passing that is the weakest one so 3 being the strongest 1 being the weakest so how did we tell that we have told that by looking at the number of field lines passing through a given area and the degree of closeness between them so the correct answer for this question is the one which is incorrect of the all four that is c so c is the right answer now one more extra point for you this question has been repeated many times and the question is why do two field lines do not intersect each other so you must have seen this question right so this is a property of magnetic field lines that no two field lines no two field lines intersect each other no two field lines intersect each other so the question is why is that so okay now the, the answer is very simple okay so for this let us take two field lines let's say this is field line number one and this is field line number two and both are intersecting at a point right now how to get the direction of field line at any point suppose the point is here how to get it draw tangent there suppose here so draw tangent here right suppose you want here simple draw tangent there you want here draw tangent here so now what about the point of intersection so here is the point of intersection if i draw a tangent can i draw if i draw a tangent which line should i follow so if i follow this line this is the tangent if i follow the other line this is the tangent that means at point of intersection at point of intersection what's happening there are two different tangents two different tangents indicating what two different directions two different directions that is if i place a compass at the point of intersection what will happen will the compass show two directions no right it's impossible so hence this is impossible so I cannot have two different directions at the same point, two different directions of magnetic field at the same point. Hence, 
two field lines can never intersect hope you have understood the concept and if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section and uh, video if you have learned something and if you like this video please like share and subscribe and promote the channel to your friends and family members thanks for watching we'll meet with another topic bye bye